Welcome to my hotel room. I'm in Vancouver, Canada. Got a little closet area over here. Already checked it out. Here's my living room. Let's take a peek outside. It's very rainy, very chilly. Not a bad view. Towards the front of the room. Then I have my bedroom. And there is a very tall, they call this a balcony. Very reminiscent of New York balconies. You can step outside. I guess that's all it takes. And here is my shower and bathroom. And I'm on a contract trip. The pilots are not staying here. However, we're gonna go to dinner as a group. So they're still in the car. They have a whole new destination that they're going to. I'm here for the next three days solo, but I don't wanna keep them waiting. So I'm gonna to go to dinner and I'll check in with you in a bit. back in my room about to go to bed I will check in with you all tomorrow the problem with flying west is it is five o'clock in the morning here and I'm wide awake and nothing is open yet I can't take myself for coffee or for brunch I'm just here it looks like another cold and rainy day Yesterday on the flight, I got to talking with my passengers and one of the women gave me a list of restaurants that I need to check out here in Vancouver. It doesn't open until 10 o'clock for brunch. It's currently only 7.30 in the morning. So I'm gonna put myself together and just go for a morning stroll in this cold, damp, wet weather. But I'm gonna pick up a cup of coffee, walk around town and eventually make my way to brunch. It's a rainy walk, but it's not terribly cold. So I've got my big jacket on, obviously, my rain boots and a good attitude. And we're just gonna make a nice day out of this. This matches my socks. has made an appearance and it's actually turning out to be a really nice day in Vancouver. I think I'm gonna do a little souvenir shopping for the baby. Get him a little trinket or maybe a book about Vancouver. plane is getting ready to take off and that's what I would really love to go do. 
my hair situation is crazy. I'm gonna sit, watch a seaplane take off, and go back to the hotel, because it's very cold and the rain has started up again. The sun is nowhere to be found. from my walk and I stopped at the store and I picked up some water and also last time I was in Canada in Goose Bay I got these coffee crisp bars they are so so good it was probably my favorite thing about Goose Bay so I did pick up a couple I haven't started snacking yet but I'm pretty tempted I cannot sleep when I'm on the West Coast. It looks nice outside, but don't let it fool you. I was just peeking out to see what shoe situation I was gonna be in today, if I needed my full-blown rain boots or if I could just walk and get some coffee and breakfast and a pair of sneakers, but it's raining a lot. So I let you know I wanted coffee and then I was gonna walk around the water like I did yesterday because even though it was cold, it was still very pretty to see, but it just looks way too damp outside. So I think I'm just gonna do a quick coffee run, come back to the room. I've got some things that will keep me busy throughout the day. And then I have a very dear friend who I get to see for dinner tonight. So I have something to look forward to. found my spot for coffee there's the water it's not terrible maybe when I warm up after my coffee I'll still go walk around was just what I needed this morning and I've decided I'm just gonna go on the walk it's better than sitting in a hotel room so it's gonna be a wet rainy day adventure I officially cannot take the cold or the rain anymore, so heading back to the hotel now. Stopped in for another coffee. I managed to get a nice leisurely walk in today. I just did a little room service. I got myself a grain bowl with avocado, quinoa, chickpeas, sweet potatoes, farro, a whole bunch of goodness since I ate that entire Nutella croissant for breakfast this morning. Okay, I'm back in my room, back in my pajamas, and I just came from dinner. Actually, I should just tell you about the day. I feel like the day totally got away from me. 
And that's because I have a really, really good friend. She's like family. I've known her since I'm eight years old who lives here in Vancouver. And that's the reason why I wanted to be on this trip, even though I was gonna be alone, is because I knew she lived out here and we would have a chance to get together. And I haven't seen her in years. And it was just really special being with her again. We ate at the same restaurant I ate the first night that I was here with the pilots. Um, it's the restaurant that my passenger suggested we try. And it was so good that night, I decided to eat here again. And she liked it and we were just talking and we facetimed my family so she could meet them i facetimed with her family so i could meet them and already planning a trip we're gonna do a vacation out here at some point this year hopefully this year um but my mom is gonna come and my husband's gonna come and we're gonna get the baby a passport and he's gonna come and it just feels so good to have a layover like that so i know i didn't get to show you that much of this evening but it was really just me catching up with one of my friends um, but i will check in with you tomorrow i'm leaving tomorrow and i have a flight to talk about but not a flight to show you. Remember, I'm on this contract trip, so I generally don't show airplanes that aren't like my airplanes to work on. But I will check in with you in the morning, and hopefully I'm gonna get another walk-in because I've really enjoyed walking along the seawall. Good morning. I've just put myself together for the day, and I'm gonna go walk and get myself a cup of coffee and maybe another one of those Nutella croissants. They were really, really good yesterday. And then I'm doing a restaurant run for catering for the flight home and then meeting the pilots at the airport. And that will be the end of this vlog. It's not actively raining this morning, but it just looks damp outside. And also this is like an abandoned mall. I don't know, building. It looks like it's being gutted. And every time I open my window, I just think of The Last of Us. Have you all watched that show? It was so good. Highly recommend watching it. I kind of want to watch it again. Um, but yeah, I just am like waiting for the clickers or the zombies to come out of this building every time I look at it. So I'd like to thank you for coming to Vancouver with me for just the layover portion. I know I didn't show any airport, airplane, private jet, anything, but I hope you enjoyed your time watching Vancouver the same way I enjoyed my actual time in Vancouver. So thank you for watching. Please make sure you're subscribed to my vlog. This way you don't miss out on any future flight attendant videos. I post every Sunday, so I'll talk to you again next Sunday. Thanks again.